I would now like to introduce the Honourable Neil Pope, the Minister for Labor and Youth Affairs, and the member for Monbolt. Mr Pope is well known in the area, having served as a Lilydale Shire councillor and, among other things, a member of the Mount Evelyn Environment Protection and Progress Association. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr Neil Pope. Thanks very much, uh, Peter. Peter, you didn't mention uh, one of the other uh, very strong uh, um, areas that I do come from as well, and that is a past student at Swinburne, which I hadn't let on to you as well, uh, Joan. <laughs> Joan, Joan, has this, um, Joan has this position around the Cabinet table, and rightfully so, that as a, uh, as a local member, be it a member for Mombok like I am, or Kay as member for Ringwood, or John over here as member for, uh, for Mitcham, uh, that you don't bring local issues to the Cabinet table. Well, we didn't, we didn't mean to bring this local issue to the Cabinet table, Joan, but with Steve Crabb as well, with the four of us around the Cabinet table, very interested in this issue, uh, it was inevitable, of course, that uh, there was going to be a reasonably strong push around the Cabinet table from the eastern suburbs ministers. And so I thank Kay Setches and thank John Harrowfield and, of course, Steve Crabb, who unfortunately is not with us today, for assisting us uh, in, uh, in bringing about uh, the announcement on both counts today. That is, not just the opening of the eastern campus, but uh, more importantly, the... Uh, the announcement with respect to the university status. Peter, um, Jane mentioned that, uh, that you and, uh, and Ian are a formidable, formidable pair to, to deal with. I can assure you, Peter, that uh, you have three people in Ian Wallace, Bruce MacDonald and Frank Bannon, who uh, met with me on numerous occasions about numerous issues, be it, um, be it uh, road issues, be it planning issues, be it whatever, and they are a very formidable trio, I can assure you. And I was very pleased to, uh, to assist them in, uh, in each and every problem that did pop up and that we were able to, uh, to work through those and uh, eventually uh, have the situation not only of the Eastern Campus today, but more importantly, of course, the university status. I should also pay tribute to um, the, uh, the previous Minister for Education and Training, who uh, copped a lot of lobbying as well from, uh, from John Kay and myself, and that's Barry Pullen. And indeed, it was Barry that uh, determined in conjunction with Joan that uh, the university status should go ahead. And so I'd like to pay tribute to Barry for, uh, for the work that he also did with respect to, to that decision. I uh, was uh, intending to be brief, and I will be brief, uh, as we also have uh, Phil Honeywood, uh, who I should also congratulate for assisting in, uh, in, as Joan said, a bipartisan approach to the needs of the Outer East. One area that uh, you, uh, you better check uh, the person who gave you this, those statistics, Joan, because in actual fact it's less than 12%. It's actually 10.4% particip participation. <laughs> no, that was Tom's. <laughs> that was the other part of education. I'm okay. I'll let Tom know that it's actually 10.4%, and indeed it's a, very, it's a very good argument for us with the fact that it's 10.4%, because it's actually 10.7% in the western suburbs, uh, Jane. Uh, so it is obviously of, uh, of dire need to, uh, to, get, uh, to get more higher education places out here. The, uh, the work that, uh, that Swinburne will be doing with the Outer East, and I'm pleased to see uh, not only representatives at the Outer East uh, College of TAFE here, but indeed with my other hat on as Minister for School Education. By the way, Peter, I lost youth affairs about three years ago, um, but uh, still have a very, uh, very good interest in youth affairs, naturally. But in my other hat as, as Minister for School Education, it's good to see so many principals uh, from, uh, from neighbouring schools, both government and non-government, uh, it is very important uh, for, for all of us uh, within the Outer East, and especially students, which is the bottom line, to ensure that we have uh, not only the facility of uh, a campus such as this, and obviously other campuses that are going to make up the, uh, the University of Technology in the Outer East. And so I thank uh, everyone who's had any involvement whatsoever in ensuring that today was uh, brought about to the extent that it has been with the announcement of, uh, of the Premier of the University status. Uh, it's, a great, uh, it's a great announcement, I can assure you, uh, Madam Premier, that it is going to be well received by all and sundry within the Outer East and is going to put us in good stead for future years to certainly lift that participation rate. You mentioned the, the retention rate with the, to Year 12, which, as you said, is, uh, is around 85 per cent now. We have to make sure that those uh, young people have now got somewhere to go, and they certainly will with respect to Swinburne. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Pope, and uh, a small memento for your visit today. Thanks, Thank you.